Good morning. Today I'm going to be talking lash and brow serums and I'm finally giving you an update on the Revive Lash, which I've been using and testing for the last five months. It has taken me five months to finish this product and that was my goal. I wanted to make sure that I used this up completely before I shared my thoughts with you and then of course to share a before and after photo. So I did talk about this briefly back in November. I told you guys I will be back at some point but I thought it would be nice to also talk about the Ordinary Multipeptide Lash and Brow Serum in this video as well as I have already tested that. I actually shared a review on it already and also shared my before and afters. So if you haven't seen that video or you would like to re-watch it, I'm gonna leave that video below for you as well as up here. I don't have the Ordinary Lash and Brow Serum in hand to show you today, but I am gonna be talking about my experience with each one and I will share my before and afters of each as well so we can see maybe what serum gave me better results. But also I had a completely different experience with this serum compared to The Ordinary, and I will get into that in today's video. So The Ordinary Lash and Brow Serum, as well as this one, will be linked below for you for your reference. I do have a 7% off discount code with Revive if you wish to use it on this product or anything else from their website with code Ashley. I do have some other discount codes as well that I will leave below for you, and I will also link up some related videos. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell as I'd love to have you all here long term. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well as it really helps with the channel. All right, so like I said, I have been testing the Revive Lash and Brow Serum for the last five months. This is designed to create more of that fuller, denser look with your brows and lashes, stimulate hair growth, condition them, and to strengthen them at the same time. Now, this has peptides, multiple different types of peptides, redensil, growth factors, and stem cells. There's other ingredients as well to help condition the lashes and to, of course, strengthen them as well. There is no prostaglandins in here, which is an ingredient that you will see in some lash and brow serums and there are a lot of side effects with prostaglandins and so some people may experience them some people may not I have personally never used a lash and brow serum that contains prostaglandins because I'm too scared to to be honest with you I don't want to see if something's going to happen so I just keep my lash and brow serums simple now I really did enjoy using this because I did not experience any irritation with my lashes and with my eyes in general. I did not have that heavy, tired feel with it. I didn't have red eye or that cloudy vision. Nothing to be alarmed with, especially with past experiences with other lash and brow serums. And I will get into the ordinary one in just a minute. So I actually had a very good experience with this in terms of application. The only side effect that I really did have was I had the odd itchy upper lash line. And to be honest with you, I would get that sometimes even before using the Lash and Brow Serum. Like sometimes my upper lash line can become itchy. I think that is quite normal, but I did experience it a little bit more within the five months when I started using this, but that really isn't a side effect in my opinion. It would happen maybe a couple of times a month and that's it. So it wasn't every day, it wasn't weekly, but that was the only thing that I can say that I experienced from this. But other than that, my application experience was really positive and I was so glad. Now, the reason why it took me five months to finish this is because I was only using it once a day and I was only using this on my upper lash line. So in the past, when I would use other lash and brow serums, I would use it twice a day, morning and nighttime. And I think because I was using it twice a day, I think it really made my eyes really irritated. So I wanted to do it a little bit differently this time around with this product and I wanted to see what once a day would do with my eyes. I wanted to know if I was going to experience irritation and I also wanted to know how long it was going to take me. So I only did this for the upper lash line, like I said, once a day at nighttime. If I was using this twice a day, perhaps 
I would have finished this a lot sooner, maybe three months, maybe three and a half months, I don't know. But just know if you apply one thin line across the upper lash line once a day, you will get pretty much four months and three weeks with this. That's basically how long it took me. And that's a really good length of time because this has a six month shelf life once you've opened it up. Now I will be 100% transparent with you. When I first started using this, I did use this on my brows because I do have a little bit of sparseness in the thicker part of my left brow especially. After a couple of weeks of using it, I noticed that I was losing more brow hair in the thicker part, but also a couple of areas over here. And I thought to myself, am I seeing this correctly? Is this really coming from the Lash and Brow Serum? And I'm like, yes, it has to be because I never experience sparseness on the tail ever. And also I, I never have a ton of sparseness in the thicker part, just a couple of sections and the sections where I was sparse, I felt like those areas were getting wider. Like I was losing more hair in that one spot. So that was a little alarming. And I said, okay, I'm stopping this. I'm not going to be continuing on with this with my brows because I can't afford to lose more hair. So is that generally what happens? Do you generally lose hair? before the hair grows back thicker and denser? I feel like no, but maybe I'm completely wrong. So let me know if you've ever experienced that and did your hair grow back in thicker and denser when you continued with it. Like I said, I didn't want to chance it, so I stopped it with my brows, but I continued with the upper lash line and I did not have the same experience with my lashes. I did not experience sparse areas. I didn't have the fallout. My lashes barely shedded. Of course, I would have the odd eyelash that would fall out here and there, which is quite normal, but I wasn't experiencing the lash shedding like I was prior to using this serum. So like I said, I just applied this to the upper lash line only. I didn't put this on my lower lash line. I just felt like I don't really need to. I just want to focus on the upper lash line at this point. And I will say that I do feel like it made my lashes a little bit darker. It definitely made them shinier. They look more conditioned, they look more healthy, but I did experience a little bit of growth, nothing crazy. And I thought with five months of using this, I thought for sure that I was going to experience more length than I did. Now, to be honest with you, with previous lash and brow serums, I really didn't notice anything dramatic either. So maybe my lashes don't resonate well with products like this or maybe it's going to take a really long time before I see dramatic results like perhaps I need to purchase another tube and use it for another five months and maybe at that point I will see a big difference with my lashes I don't know I will have to try it and find out but during the five months of using it I didn't see dramatic results so this is my before and after photo I tried to take my after photo in the same spot in the same lighting as the before photo so that was the best I could do for lighting but as you can see my after photo doesn't look too much different than the before but you can see that my lashes are darker they do look shinier as well and again I have a little bit of length now when I put mascara on my lashes I do notice that my lashes look longer than what they did prior to using this so I do notice a difference when I'm wearing mascara or if I curl my lashes in comparison to my before photo and what my lashes look like back then. So I'm very pleased with my results. I like how my lashes look shinier, they look darker, they look healthier. I did experience a little bit of length. I did have a little bit more fullness in the inner corner of the left eye as well. But that is my before and after photo with this. That is my experience. But now let me talk briefly about the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum and let me show you my before and afters with it. So with the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum, this is designed to do the exact same thing as the Revive Lash. It's supposed to give you length and volume, strengthen your lashes, and it's supposed to stimulate new hair growth. The Ordinary contains a five mil size, whereas this is a seven mil size. So you get more product with this one. Now I did give you a 50 and a 90 day update back several months ago. If you haven't seen that video, again, I will link it below for you. I did share some positives. I shared some negatives. Now with the positives with that serum, I did experience less shedding with my lashes and my lashes 
felt and looked healthier. They were more conditioned as well. I did have a little bit of length with my 90 day update, but nothing dramatic. It didn't really create much length and volume like I was hoping for but I also developed a lot of irritation with my eyes. I was experiencing red eye, I had that cloudy vision, especially if I put too much on that lash line, and my eyes were feeling very heavy and they felt tired as well. And my eyes just looked smaller because they were just so irritated. Now at that time, my mom was actually testing the Ordinary Lash and Brow Serum the same time as me because it was new at that point. And I was telling her how I was experiencing all these things with my eyes and she said oh my gosh I have been experiencing the same thing where my eyes feel tired and they feel heavy so we put two and two together and of course we said it was the lash and brow serum because as soon as we both stopped using it our eyes never felt like that again so I did have a new tube ready to go after I shared that 90 day update and I decided to not continue with it because again I didn't like the way that my eyes looked and felt so it was very unfortunate because I have heard a lot of success stories with the Ordinary Lash and Brow Serum and it's very affordable as well. Let me show you my before and afters with the Ordinary Lash and Brow Serum. So as you can see, day one, 50 days in and then 90 days in. With the 90 days, you can see that my lashes might look a little bit longer, a little bit more full, but again, nothing dramatic. I actually like the results of the Revive Lash better because my eyelashes look darker, they look shinier, and they do have a little bit more length as well. So let me share my before and after with the Revive Lash over here, the Ordinary over here, and you can see the difference with the two. Of course, with the Revive Lash, my eyelashes just look darker and shinier with some length, and then of course over here, they don't look as shiny they don't look darker, but I did have some pretty good length with the Ordinary as well, and it did fill in some sparse areas that I had as well. So I was pretty pleased with my results, but again, I wasn't able to continue on because of the way that my eyes felt with the Ordinary. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. That is my update with the Revive Lash. Again, I do have a 7% off discount code if you wish to use it. And let me know what your favorite lash and brow serum is. One that is prostaglandin free. Let me know because I'm always curious to try new things. There is one from Swede Beauty that I was thinking about trying. The ingredients look quite different than this, but I thought I would try something new at some point. Maybe after I'm done another tube of this, I will try something different. But let me know in the meantime what you would recommend. I would love that and appreciate that. So let's get a conversation going in that comment section. And of course, this and The Ordinary will be linked below for you as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next video. So take care and I will see you all then. Bye guys.